Now from the home of the A's since 1968, it's baseball at the Oakland Coliseum. Tonight, it's an in-division matchup from the AL West between the Texas Rangers and the Oakland A's. Which of these two will prevail next on the show? Number 40, the right-hander from Arizona will be doing the pitching. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Boy, when this guy's on, he's nasty. How nasty? How about in this last appearance, struck out 21 batters. One of the most dominating performances I've ever seen. And I really hope he brings his A game along Leading again in this for one. Texas. So striding in, Herb field. Spence. Herb. And we are set for baseball Spence. here this evening. First pitch of the at bat. First of three here to start the week as the game's first pitch is taken for strike one. And Dan Dero, this Oakland ball club entering play here tonight. They come off another loss last time out, and in fact, they've First dropped pitch. three of their last four. Yeah, Matty V, and you know what, Dero? It hasn't been a very good homestand so far. They dropped the first three games. They open up a new series here, and they'd like nothing more than to get into the win column to get that first win of this homestand. Yeah, hopefully they were able to shower off that last series. A whole, whole new ball game, new team comes in, new problems. New opportunities. Let's see what they do today. And a good pitch there as this is swung on and missed for the first out of the ball game. A chance now to look at the batting order for the visiting Rangers. Nero, give us what you have on this lineup as they start a new series. Matty, this is going to be a fun lineup for me to watch. I get fired up watching these guys because they all have a plan. It works for them. They follow the scouting reports. They grind it out in the video room. I'm interested to see what they've come up with. Now at the plate, Derek Askew. He had a triple the in the game baseman. yesterday, finishing Derek one for four. Askew. First pitch on its way. Ah. Oh, and that one slung through the strike zone that time at 98. 0 and 1. Good night for scarves and mittens. It's 48 degrees here at first pitch. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. Boy, in a perfect spot for the splitter there. It's 0 and 2. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. That softly hit to right. Will that get down? Javeri ranges back and he has it for out number two. Set to get his evening at the plate started. Batting Bo Burr. Eaton batting the just right a field. notch below 300 Whoa. so far on the He's season. Dead. First delivery to him on the way. Ice. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Rangers set down in order. It's the Rangers nothing. A's coming up on Major League Baseball, the show. In now, Mariano Escalona. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Here's the first pitch to him. There's a good breaking ball as it gets the bottom of the zone. Love jumping out to an early 3 nothing lead, but this game is far from over. A lot of innings left to be played. He's going to have to continue to execute out on that mound. One, one, one! Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll flip oh. on to first to record the out. All right, guys, so here's how the Oakland A's are lining up on defense for this one. And when you focus on the numbers, this starting pitcher leads the American League in strikeouts. 
When I had a big punch out guy on the mound, I always tell myself I have to stay in. I have to stay engaged mentally in this one. I have to watch what the catcher's putting down. I have to go through my pre-pitch routine and stay on my toes because at any moment, that That's big ball could be coming your way. Standing in, Rick Miles. And he's hoping to get things going at the plate. It's been a bit of a struggle for him in recent games. Here comes the first pitch. Yeah. Circle change there called strike one. Yeah. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Hey that's obviously the game plan against this guy. Bury it in on his hands. He finds himself down 0 2 now. He doesn't know if he's coming back in there or going breaking stuff down the way. 0-2 oh, is a fastball that misses inside. One and two down. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Gary Simmons. You know, Dero, Gary Simmons, he's, he's one of those umpires. He'll give you one thing or the other. At times, his zone can be a little wider than he's a little more strict north and south, but he's a pretty consistent umpire. I just, uh, the key, Dan, is be consistent. You want to give him the inside half? I'm okay with that, but then you can't give him away. If you're going to stay east west, you better pick one side. Don't know how you lay off that one, but he did, and it's two and two. This is exactly the reason why this guy has been so successful and has played this game so long, scrambling pitch after pitch, making this guy work out on the mound. That was swing and a miss. He struck him out, and it's two up, two down to start the second. Every pitcher looks to get off to a good start, and I'd say he's off to a good start. How about the first five batters he's faced? Three of them he sent down via the strikeout. Batting fit. In now, Brian Rocha. Brian. As he takes a cold Rocha. strike at the knees, it's 0-1. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Whoa, that misses man. one and two. Classic strikeout pitch right there on 0-2. It's the one we know he loves going to, but great recognition to lay off in that spot. And now a pitch on the way. Ball. Misses ball two. Down, two, and two. Wow, that was a close pitch on one and two. The count's now on two and two, but boy, that one very easily could have been called strike three. Really close pitch. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Santiago is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. Nothing across here this half. On now to the bottom of the second. Oakland is on top in this one, three to nothing. At the plate, Ryan Brunlock, a couple of hits for him in four the trips in yesterday's game. Brunlock. First pitch on its way. Here's a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Owen 1, here it comes. Looped out toward third. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. So with one away, a couple of teams out of the AL West doing battle in this one. So let's check out where they sit in the standings entering play here today. Striding in, Benji Saucedo, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Benji Saucedo. First delivery to him on the way. Little one, chopper one, one. back to the mound. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Oh. 
set to get his evening at the plate started. That Omar got. Vasquez, but and it's style. been a real struggle oh, for him with the bat so far this That's year, good. looking to get things turned around in a hurry. And here's a called strike at the oh, knees. Don't think he liked that one too much, but it's 0-1. Rangers still searching for hit number one in the ball game. A great job of changing speeds there. It's 0-2. Vasquez, a native of the Dominican Republic, he was selected in the third round during the first year player draft of 2030. Yeah, he is. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. One, two, three, go the Rangers. They trail in this one, three nothing. Stepping into the box, Herb Spence, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here comes the first pitch. Ball one, taken just off the inside. Swing and a miss for strike one. Oh, he pulls the string on the circle change. One and two. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Boy, that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels, right? All he wants to do is get on base and take advantage of the strength of his game, which is his speed. But with a strikeout right there, you can't get on first base if you strike out. Now batting. The first standing in now, Derek, Derek. Askew. Askew. As he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Derek. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now, 0 and 2. You can't go after that pitch with less than two strikes on you. There's no way you're going to do any damage with a ball executed down and away in the zone. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. That wasn't a terrible pitch right there, but if he's going to execute and get this swing and a miss, he's going to have to get that ball a little bit further down, maybe even potentially bounce the next one. The next 0 2. Fouled off. Fouled away. A bounce to the left side. And that's the second out. Stepping in, Bo Eaton. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time Whoa. up. Yeah, he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Not cheated on that swing, but the splitters by him 0-2. Some guys have no trouble hitting with two strikes, and some guys never want to get there. Let's see the approach right here. I'd like to see him shorten up a little bit, maybe choke up. And try. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Rangers set down in order. Need to get it going soon. It's 5-0. Leading off the inning, Mariano Escalona, and they'll need him to get something going here. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going, and the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0-2. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. Well, you can tell by their approach that they're going to go up there and try to be aggressive off this guy, but he's taking full advantage of that. He's pounding the zone with strikes, and right now we're seeing a lot of swings and misses and a lot of strikeouts and no walks either. 
Now batting. Stepping in now, Rick Miles. Rick. Batting left-handed here as he takes a look at strike one. No runs, no hits, and one error in the ball game for the Rangers. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. I mean, you look in the dugout right now, you see steam coming out of the hitting coach's ears. Somebody has to stay back and find a way to get one, knocked. One. Round ball sent back up the middle. Kershaw scoops it up. Throw gets him. Two down. Now look at our line score to this point, and I'm almost certainly jinxing things by pointing it out, but it's worth mentioning that zero in the hit column through two outs here in the fifth. Into the box now, Brian Rocha. He flew out in his last at bat. Brian, ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Circle change, too low. Ball one. No runs, no hits, and one error in the ball game for the Rangers. And that's in there for his strike one and one. Ball Circle two. change here, but it's taken for ball two. Hey, I appreciate the fact that he's making him throw a few pitches. Most of his teammates have been hacking at everything that comes their way. Zero. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball, two and two. Hey, this offense needs to check themselves right now. They have to find a way to get somebody on base. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. 15 up, 15 down to start the ball game. Home half of the fifth coming up. The A's lead this one five to nothing. Coming to the plate now, Ryan Bruntley comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First pitch of the at bat. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0 and 1. I know it goes without saying, but the best pitch in baseball is getting ahead with a first pitch strike. That's why this guy's been able to stay in this game, pounding the zone. Butler backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first out. Settling in now, Benji Salcedo. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. All one's the count. Bases are empty, one man out. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. The 0 2 once more. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. That was a good job tying him up inside on that strikeout pitch. It wasn't even in the strike zone, but with the hitter protecting with two strikes, that's the kind of pitch you can get him to offer at, and he's probably not going to do much with it when he does make contact. Into the box now, Omar Vasquez. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Hey, you can tell by the look on that manager's face, he's obviously frustrated right now. But it's a long season. You're going to have a lot of ebbs and flows with your offense. Does he take a step back and relax a little? One, 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 one. He call a team meeting right after this one. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Rangers. They still find themselves down six zip. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Herb Spence. He'll try and do what he can to work toward cutting into this big deficit. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Swing and a miss, and he's in control 0-2. 
There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, one, one, one. he's going to have a pretty good night. Grounded up the first baseline, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Stepping in, Derek Askew, 0 for 2 on his line thing. thus far. Derek. He's ready. Here's the first Askew. offering. Ah. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. The windup and the 0-1. Oh, Good slider there, but laid off and called the ball low. One out, nobody on. That's and ball. that's going to be high two and two now. Got him. So that's the second out of the inning, and he's seven outs away now. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There are many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Whoa. In now, Bo Eaton, as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Struck him out to retire the side, so he's through seven complete, still working on a masterpiece. Rangers set down in order. They won't make a dent in a six to nothing deficit. Digging in now, Mariano Escalona. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Well, I've been very impressed with how the starter's going about his business, Pat. He's looked really sharp, and it's hard to know if it's had any effect, but getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. And he struck him out for the first out of the inning, but perhaps more importantly, he's five outs away now. There's a look at how we got to where we are. A's leading this one here in Oakland as we draw nearer to the finish line. Digging in the switch hitter, Rick Miles. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Fastball in there for a called strike. Oh, one is a circle change that's over for a cold strike. The discipline has just been completely absent from this offense. Seems like they're always finding themselves behind the count, and, and a big reason why is they're swinging at all kinds of stuff that's not even in the strike zone. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Balls up, balls him up. up. Greer is there, and that's the second out of the inning. Well, a huge out number two here at the eighth. Four outs remain, but the finish line is starting to come into focus now. Coming to the plate now, Brian Rocha. He started out the evening 0 for 2 Brian. so far. Rocha. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing and one. Two out, nobody on. Turn gone, but that's ripped foul down the third baseline. Got him. So that's eight perfect innings, and the fans can feel it now as the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Rangers. They need to get something cooking here. It's seven nothing.
stepping up to the plate. Ryan Bruntlett starting things for his side the in the ninth as they the face the base. improbable odds oh, yeah. of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. The 0-1. Swing and a miss. It's 0-2. He's still looking really solid here in the ninth, and I'm sure that big lead has helped him pitch free and easy, but to me, it still looks like he's approaching it like it's a close game. And it's fouled away. Ready with another two-strike offering. And he fouls this one off. Ready with another two strike offering. Got him. So the magic number for a perfect game is now down to two. Digging in once again, Benji Saucedo. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Saucedo. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0 and 1. You see there, the pitch count is up to 88. And at this point in the game, that's a good place to be. So I think we'll see him stay out there for at least a little while longer. The 0 1. This ball will be chopped foul. Bases are empty, one man out. Fouled off. Ready with another two strike offering. Fouled away. Ready with another two strike offering. Strike three. So now he's one out away from perfection. Pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate, but probably too good to take. And he's down on strikes for the second time. Yeah, that pitch was right on the black. Beautiful pitch. And even if we had robot umps, he'd still be out. But the only difference would be he wouldn't be able now to complain it. about it. Oh, ball. That's good. And this is low, ball one. A ball and a strike. One, one, one. The ground over to first. To his right, Butler. And this is taken to the bag for the out, and it's over. A perfect game. Yeah, you've heard when it rains, it pours. Well, it was raining dominance out here in this one. 27 up, 27 down, and he barely broke a sweat half the time. That's one of the rarest feats in all of sports, and I'm just excited I was here to be a part of it. Perfection is always beautiful. Well, you don't have to look too far to find our tops player of the game. I'd say any time you throw a perfect game, you'd be a pretty strong candidate. Yeah, no need to offer any debate this time. All you have to do is look at the box score. No hits, no walks, not even a base runner. We talked about his brilliance all game long, and you can bet he's going to celebrate this one tonight.